Lord. Alright, we're some poor Cleveland Metal Saint hanging out with the Witches Dan. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. Amazing. Yes. Can I have you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Steve. Achoo! Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> tight. What do you play, Steve? I play bass. I'm D2, and I play guitar. I'm Chris, and I play throat. <laughs> I'm Brian, and I play drums. I'm Radimus, and I also play guitar. Cool. Cool. As always, what are you guys currently working on? Mmm, lots. <laughs> Some heavy shit. Some good, nice, heavy shit. That's just big enough to move on to the next one. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> ah, so yeah. Cool. Heavy. Oh, let's see. So, who killed the witch? I did, obviously. Good question. She pissed me off. The house. <laughs> she pissed the house? Me off. Well, yeah, the house. Like, fell on her. I don't know whose house that was. It was Dorothy's house. Dorothy's house. Roadhouse. <laughs> real estate was the killer. Dorothy. Real estate's the real <laughs> killer here. <laughs> How have the music of your parents influenced what you listen to and what you play? Music of my parents is what I listen to. Guns N' Roses, Ozzy Osbourne. It's pretty much... The exact opposite of what my parents listen to. <laughs> my parents listen to like country and pop music, so I, I not much. Yeah, we. I got I got hair metal. Yeah, we're, we're related, so. yeah I got classic rock. My dad. That's really about it. What are some uncommon items that people wouldn't expect you to pack for tour? They um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fucking question. I packed a lot of um, dry foods. <laughs> Food is good. It's probably not uncommon, but I packed Tylenol. Mm. Okay. I, I packed 30 packs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a stumper. <laughs> I don't know. Finally! A portable <laughs> DVD player and a shit ton of DVDs. Ron Jeremy DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> No, We've heard the tales. Magnum condoms. Which camera Tall am I looking at? Here? Yeah, which camera am I looking at? Uh, well, you're on both this of them. The These two camera. are on this one. The rest of you all are on. Oh no, I got them all. You got all of them? Yeah, I got them am all. I on video both? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. That's that's better. <laughs> I was just like looking at that blue shirt hanging over there. I didn't know where to look. <laughs> now I know. I don't know whose shirt that is. It's about to be my shirt. Walking Dead versus Game of Thrones. Where do you guys stand? Walking, Walking, Walking Dead. dead. Yeah. Walking Come on. Dead. Totally. Walking Dead. Isn't Game of Thrones like the gay Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've heard that from South Park, so. <laughs> That's about right. South Park's educational. Yes. <laughs> Uh, South Park is surprisingly educational. Really? Yeah, it is. Like, they, I wonder if anybody ever stops to realize that at some point their creators were tripping on acid and dressed up as girls. <laughs> at the Who hasn't yeah, been? Yeah, at the Who tends to trip on acid to dress up? Right. <laughs> Didn't uh, yeah. that massive so skin guitar player get like, kicked out of the Grammys because he was like, he had heroin and yeah. stuff like that? No, no, they were all, they all looked like, what, <laughs> like, undress code or whatever. So. I thought he dropped his bag and it was like heroin or something like that. I don't know. Something. Why do the media, well, why does the media blame musicians for a catas catastrophic event such as school shooting or... Because they want to find Our a scapegoat. They want to find a scapegoat, and there's nobody else easier to blame than musicians. Blame the sexy people. <laughs> they always yeah. do. Moving on. It's easy to blame people who just yell a lot. Yeah. I think that's a. If you sound angry, you must be an awful person. Right. <laughs> Should parents govern what their children listen to? No, definitely not. not. Yes, up to a certain age. Up, up really? to a certain age, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. You don't want Some... three, you don't want a three-year-old listen to I love to say fuck. I feel like <laughs> I feel like if it's if it depends because if there's there's this band called the Mentors, 
that literally they sing about actually raping people, which that, that, that's oh, yeah, that cool. pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty fun. I would, t I would never let my, if I had kids, I would never let them listen to that shit, but I mean, if yeah. it didn't go to that extreme, then <laughs> I, I really wouldn't care. And no Kenny G. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I think if I had a daughter in this modern world we're living in right now, I don't think she'd be allowed to listen to like Nicki Minaj. Oh, till at least the age of like no. blur out the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do they have there that I'm not seeing? <laughs> I just saw a video like two days ago about like a state fair, and it was like a twerk show. And then oh the camera God. panned over and the audience was nothing but like 10 year old kids. Oh, damn. That's sad. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you have shows like 15 and Pregnant, it's like, it's bound to happen. Right. Sad. It started at 17. Because, you know, <laughs> M M MTV pretty much sold out at this point, so. Oh. At this point? <laughs> I mean, well, you, you know. It's been a while. It's yeah. been a while. <laughs> what are your thoughts on mainstream stores selling local music? They should. They should. Yeah, they should. Yeah. They should have a lot more. I, I have I have yet to see that. Walmart, I, Best Buy. His CD is in Record, uh, record Den. Yeah. Really? Tommy they carry Shout out CD. to the Record Den um, for having awesome. Yeah, Record, yeah, yeah, record Den. Yeah, record Den fucking, fucking great. And I've seen something involving a monkey there. They have uh, a bunch Dead of Iron. They have a good, yeah, they have yeah. a good stack of locals actually there. What they have? What lessons have you guys learned being part of Cleveland's large, well, I wouldn't say large, Part of Cleveland's vast music scene. Mm -hmm. You fucking shit. You gotta sound like <laughs> Mushroom Head. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sound like Mushroom Head or no one's gonna give you anything but boo boo lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, yeah. A few. It, yeah, it, in certain places. I feel like there's a like, pretty huge death metal scene. Yeah. yeah. There's like. Yeah, a lot, a, a lot of the same, like. Like work more towards the metalcore, you know, but there's a lot of like the really like grindy like, brah, brah. Mm -hmm. like that for the first band was kind of like. Um, who did I see here? I saw Flesh Goat Apocalypse here. And it was fucking packed. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking nuts. Um, what places? If you guys were on tour, what places would you have to hit like without question? Whiskey go go. Yeah. Uh, Whiskey go go. So like, that's my only thing. I'd want to go to the UK to be completely honest. Uh, uh, they, nice. they, I've, I've seen shows down there. That what was that place you went to that was just really oh, nice? South by Southwest was a fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. God, in Texas, that was fucking sweet. That would be cool. Um, there was like a lot of really cool um, little shops too and shit. Saw a lot of fucking people and just like the art and shit that they had there. They had like fucking. What do they have? Like, they had like DC shoes or something like that, and they were like all like there was like a Motorhead one, there was a Metallica one, there was uh, like every fucking shoe you could fucking imagine. It was amazing. Alright, band <laughs> responsibility. What do you guys feel band responsibility should be? Whereas coming to practice, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> lyric content, promotion wise. As the long, whole spiel. As what do you guys feel as a band? Band should be out there doing as to as help themselves. As long as someone's promoting them in the band, then that's 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 a must. You have to have at least someone promoting, or else you're not going to shows. You're not going right. to make fans. And as for the music itself, just everyone contributing to the writing process. Mm -hmm. They should they should at least have interest in being in the band because if there's somebody in a band that doesn't want to be in it, then it's really fucking pointless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe something happened to that. It's like, I'm cool, I'm just in this band, but I won't contribute. Yeah. Oh, there are people it's, like that. You, yeah. You, you, yeah. You, There's a lot of people It's, like it's really sad. fucking surprising, but they're, they're, it's pretty sad. How did you guys come up with The Witch is Dead? Uh, Where's the Dawn of the Wicked Witch is Dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why? Why? That sounds cool. Because yeah, the word wrong. witch is really metal, and the word dead is really metal. <laughs> and, and there's only two other words in there. <laughs> and it's so like a thing. Band names kind of have to be a sentence now. Yeah. Yeah. They can't just be a word. Four words. Yeah. Yes, I lay dying. <laughs> uh, they also have to not make sense at all for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. 
I set my friends on fire. Fuck. I, I, I was I was on uh, Loudwire or whatever, and there's this band that literally their name, if you were to type it into a Microsoft Word or whatever, it would take up like four or five lines. And they just made it the most blatantly fucking stupid name in the world. <laughs> Whoever we're missing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll speed this up. Um, who would you guys? Who would you guys want to jam with, living or dead? Who would you guys love to tour with, living or dead? Oh, dubs. One stay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to tour with a band called Bless the Fall. They're, I, they're fucking pretty awesome. I love them. Against, against my better judgment, I'd like to tour with like Black Hill Brides. Yeah. yeah. Just because that'd awesome. be like a really good like opportunity. Ask or, like, Alexandria stuff like that. Escape the Fate, Asking Alexandria. Yeah. If, Skid, I, if Skid Row got back together, uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I'd like to do the Clash of Titans tour back in the 1990s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That brings me to my next question. How do you guys feel about mixed genre shows? I'm doing a trap set. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. I like them. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think they're though. a good like, idea. You can yeah, do, like, a, like, you can do like, like a show like with like bands. metal and rock and punk, but you can't throw like acoustic or indie on there. And you can't have like metal followed by like pop. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. I don't, I don't even know if anyone like plays pop shows. I feel like there, there are things, there are definitely shows that like can small small yeah. yeah. get away with that yeah. type of stuff. like. Work. Warp Tour, for example, they have like a crap ton of different genres, but for, for the most part, people are only there Doesn't to see Warp like. Have riff rap? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they also have like that acoustic tent that they do or whatever. They have that acoustic tent that they do. Oh they have, yeah. They have an entire stage just dedicated to EDM artists or whatever. That's interesting. <laughs> Which condom brand suits your man? Trojan. The Magnum ones. Trojan Mag. <laughs> <laughs> what is with the Magnum? <laughs> Camera. It fit. It fits. <laughs> Barely. It's like you gotta try. Like, and then when it's you gotta like, want it. Just, just when you think it's gonna, you know, keep rolling, it doesn't. <laughs> I guess that's good. <laughs> Where's the tip? That'll be fine. What advice would you give a man that's just starting out in the local scene for the first time? Like their first show is tonight. Don't rush it. Yeah. Don't rush Take it. Take your time. Yeah. Make everything you do good. If you think you're good enough, you're not. Call right. Record yourself and listen to it. And then try again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, and if you're stressing out, show, calm the just... fuck down. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 So, Keep yeah, there's nothing keep worse than going keep on stage and just being like <laughs> stiff as a board. Like, calm and keep stiff. Keep calm. <laughs> stiff as a board. <laughs> I know this is an impossible question, but if you guys still have stage fright, how do you get rid of it? Go on stage. I feel like when you have it, it's only temporary. Once you get on stage, you're. I, I, me, at least, I'm usually fine. <laughs> <laughs> we... I breathe fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> breathe in a nice. Deep I breathe a lot of fresh air. Uh, okay. It's okay. Always oh, terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only. Ter I'm always terrified, but it's only on the drive to the venue. And then I get there and I'm fine. But I'm always like. I'm, I'm always there. excited. At the heebie-jeebies. I'm always excited during the drive to the venue, and then I like kind of get like a knot in my stomach. Right before we're about to play, and then I feel fine. Like, I always have to piss right before. <laughs> yeah, it's like it always you, happens to it's me. It's like you, your your bladder knows you're about to be in front of a bunch of people watching you, so you gotta you gotta go. Look <laughs> <laughs> what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question. What does fan appreciation mean to you guys? Like, how would you guys feel if a fan got your lyrics tattooed on them, or your face, or My something, face. Something, <laughs> something, something about your life was tattooed on them? That'd how would great. you guys? How would that, that, that make would, you guys feel? That would be the best. Yeah, yeah. Feels pretty damn good. <laughs> my face. If someone got my face, <laughs> that's like a free <laughs> ticket for life. Yeah. Free what tickets do you want? for life. <laughs> what do you want? Go <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> right. I know you guys have tattoos of fans. What are some of the bands that help influence your creativity? 
<laughs> Megadeth. Your arms tell the story. <laughs> yeah, Misfits, Wednesday 13, Marilyn Manson. Guns N' Roses. Alice Cooper, of course Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. Let's get real again. <laughs> Motley Crue, of course. Slipknot, Rat. For me, at least. Rat. Rat. Rat's fucking good. Yeah. The 90s. The yeah. 90s. Okay. And then Criss Cross. Just yeah. probably make you jump, jump. Yeah, <laughs> Marky Mark. And the funky bone <laughs> chair. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Feel it, feel it. <laughs> feel the vibration. Just, just a would you, vibration. Would you guys like to give a shout out to any other local band or national band or family or friends? Uh, I feel like I really, really should, but I'm going to drop the ball here. AOT uh -huh. Dead Iron, um, they're actually playing at the uh, Agora right now for their release party. Uh, they're also going to be playing in um, mm -hmm. the, for the Wacken uh, uh, Festival in Germany. I can't believe they're doing that. Mm -hmm. um, AOT is playing with us. They just got like some kind of signed record deal or something like that. Uh, they also got a bass player and a new um, <laughs> bass drop player, sampler, DJ thing. I don't know. Um, but what else? Uh, Atomic Grave, Steve. Oh yeah. Atomic yeah. Grave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Among um, the Broken. Really Among the Broken. Are really yeah. good. Uh-huh. And who else here? I'll say everyone here because Vindicator. they deserve it. And I don't want to fuck this up. Slaughter in the Meridian. Toxic Taco. Mechanical Avalanche. Uh, disgraced. Advance on. I can't fucking pronounce the <laughs> <your> name. <laughs> I think it's Thermopylae. Thermopylae. <laughs> it has got an A-E at the end. And then... It's great. D2 King Kai the Highest, The Witch is Dead. Oh, what was that band that just got in? And as dark as days? Uh, as dark as day. As dark as day. Yeah. Singular, okay. Very great. Yeah, they were fucking good. I was surprised. And Disgraced, they're awesome. Disgraced. They were really cool. I know a couple Beside of the Silence, even though they're not here. I like watching them a lot. Yeah. I, was, I was so bummed when I found out their singer and their bass player left. I was mm -hmm. just, uh, their singer was fucking good too. Yeah. yeah. Change, change, change can go either way. Up Hopefully, down, there's yeah. more Darren singing though, because Darren has a beautiful voice. <laughs> we love you guys, of course. Second time seeing you guys, we're excited. <laughs> Just as the first time, we're like fuck yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for doing this. You know, we love you guys. We love seeing you guys all the time. Thank you guys. For Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. We're a support crew in Metal Scene, hanging out with the Witch is Dead. Check them out on. Every damn Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> it's like stun. Check, Check us out on stage. Check us out. <laughs> Check us out at the beach. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Over there. I mean, I'm pretty sure the only thing we have as of right now is a Facebook page. So and these we have we have looks. We have a YouTube page, but Check us out with these dashing moves. it's it's. Still, Bloodsuckers Anonymous, so... I mean, if you look up Bloodsuckers Anonymous... I have a lot of contacts in that email. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to start a new one. It's, yeah, it makes it hard, so... Trojans... Magnus. <laughs> Trojan Magnus. Makes it very hard. <laughs> very. Alrighty. We can't thank you guys enough. Thank you. You guys deserve this. We wish we could do a lot more for you. And we will. Are we still going to... Right are awesome, yeah. Okay, tell me right before we stop. That now, and I want yeah. the video to end with me dropping my can. Okay, go ahead. <laughs>